Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Operator Terminal Expert. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can use the launch application inside the software. So let's go to the software. So we're going to start a new application. New project. And there are a few things that we need to know. So on the screen, okay, I'm going to show you this using blocks so if we create um an option then we link that should be able to find over here something called launch application which one launch this one launch application so here we just need to define the path of the X file that we're going to execute another parameter in case you use, for example, a web browser and you just need an specific the URL. You can put that, prevent the multiple instance, always on top, uh, location of the desktop, and then you can see the location. Now, not all the HMIs allow you to do this. So the ones that allows you are the ones that came with Windows already embedded. So if you're trying to use the HMI ft 6 the one that came by default, it will not allow you to do this. Okay, so how you can check this out? So if you go to offline help, for example, features, go to launch application. Here you have all the following explanation about this. Okay. But here in support model list, you should be able to find the ones that you want. So for example, I'm going to uh, select uh, ST6, uh, Shifa U22, I'm going to select uh, Harmony P6, and I'm going to select uh, any PC. Let's try it with ST6, STL, so you can see that I'm not lying to you. So, show results. Here, we should be able to find for launch application. So, if we go to launch application, launch application, here you can see that the HMI Shifi U22 and the Harmony P6 and the PC has the possibility to launch that, to use that one, along with the web browser and launch control panel. The HMI ST6 and the HMI ST07 doesn't allow you, so bear that in mind. Saying that, let's go for this. So now that we have the possibility to select which HMI, in my case, I'm going to use my my own PC as a runtime, so I have really the runtime reinstalled. So I'm going to use uh, this one. Okay, so now I should be able to select that. Uh, functions, prefer method, Ethernet. Yes, going to download to the same PC. Uh, Advanced, allow Ethernet, yes. Here you have the Windows settings. Okay, so this part is going to be fine. Now, what I'm going to do is to go here and select, for example, uh, a switch. So if I select the switch, in my case, it's in favorites, and every day by default, it's in favorites. Otherwise, you just need to go to parts and select switch. So, I'm going to use these to open, uh, for example, switch uh, Chrome. Okay. Operation, shape, release, press. So, I'm going to use Chrome. just to open Chrome. Then I'm going to use another one to open the calculator. Calculator, calculator. 
there we go so screen script now that we are in the script we just need to define the trigger how are we going to trigger this so it's going to be by using a click the click is going to be related to one screen option the screen option is the one called chrome so when this one is touched then i should be able to open chrome so as i don't know where chrome is going to right click open file location just bear with me a second here you can see they have this one so right click properties i'm just going to copy this Chrome. and here we just need to define the website that we want so uh, let's try to use a schneider uh, let's see I'll call. so i'm going to open this Control c i'm going to close this just like that okay we can be always on top or not okay and we can also specify location in our system. So in my case, it's a little bit complicated because I have two screens and I don't know where it's going to be. So probably it's going to be in the other PC. So I need to drag into this computer. But trust me, it works. Um, then the other one, something similar is going to be for the um, calculator. So here, I need to delete the parameter and specify the location. So uh, the location for the calculator, let me see. System is this one, just going to copy and paste. Okay, good. So there is uh, something that we need to know here. If we want to use um, add comment, this is the only place that you can use right click, uh, right click, add comment. If you want to use this in an IPC or another system, in my case, it just work with system 32, you need to replace system 32 with sys native. Okay. Uh, this, that information is on the help. So launch application, launch application, and let's give you an example here. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Um, okay, so you're going to close this. So we already have everything now. Now you can say okay let's test this and see what happened so we we can go to simulate and see what happens so i can see the application is fine but it's a, if i press this nothing's going to happen so in simulation this doesn't work so what we need to do is to test it on the real target so you can use the hmi shifi u22 or you can use a uh, harmony pc or Harmony APC or any PC with Windows on it. So what I'm going to do is to launch the runtime. This is the runtime. It's already running on my PC. So what I'm going to do now is to uh, download this. So I believe I need to... It's already enabled. So I'm going to download this. Uh, okay. see what happened okay complete and uh, it's here in my case okay so uh, if I open here and here to be able to access to the um, HMI screen system 
So if you go here. So if I open the calculator, it will open on the other side. Okay, which is fine. Open once again. There we go. It's open over here. Calculator. It's open here. So let's check why. Script. Should be always on top. Okay. Uh, but you can see I open it. Ah, there we go. So it's open it, which is fine. Um, now if I select Chrome, I don't have any Chrome instance. So we should go directly to this nether web page. There we go. It's over here. So if I press again, it moves to the other side. Okay, but it's open it. That you can see. So this is how you can run any application. In this case, I'm using my own PC as a runtime, but you can see clearly how this can be used. Um, important things, we don't need to use the simulation because it's not going to work. I don't know why not explain that on the help. Hopefully it will be updated. Uh, just need to figure out how it's going to be to treat your trigger condition. Uh, but you can launch any application over with this, with the path. And then if you use any parameter that you need, for example, a specific website, you can do it over here. Simple as that. Okay, so um, this is how you can use the launch application in order to open any application that you need uh, using .x. And you can also have any browser, any application, any software. It can be done. But it's important to use uh, HMI with Windows or IPC. And of course, the performance of opening the new application will depend on the HMI or IPC target that you have. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one. Thank you.